Another edition of Pod on Lansdowne, folks. Thanks for joining us. Another another day talking about this middling baseball team known as the Boston Red Stockings. I am Justin Masters- Masterson, a.k.a. Fitz. I'm joined by Jody Reed, a.k.a. Liam. And uh, Jake, for the second straight week, just getting straight to the heart of the matter. Just not even a... A, a true name, just going straight up with DFA Ryan Brazier. Uh, I, I appreciate your forwardness on that, Jake. Yeah, I mean, what else? You know, what else do you want from me? That's. that's I think we all share that opinion. Um, and we'll, we we'll and we, we, we will be getting into it. Yeah, we will get into that one for sure. Hopefully, by the time the evening is concluded, uh, Liam A. Ryan Brazier will be DFA'd. Hopefully, by if there's any, any sort of divine intervention, uh, they, they'll make that they'll make that a thing. And then, second of all, he'll be completely cooked, by the courtesy of us three. He'll be well done, completely charred off the grill. He he'll be he'll be toast, my friend. Is that right, Liam? Yeah, no, I have to agree. I think uh, this week Ryan Brazier is playing the role of Matt Barnes. Uh, so. <laughs> So he's doing a great job. I mean, he only cost us two games this past week. Um, what are you going to do? Throwing cookies down the middle of the plate. Yeah, love to see it. If you turn to page five of your playbill tonight, folks, you'll find that <laughs> tonight's performance of the Boston Red Sox will not feature Matt Barnes. Stepping into the role will be Ryan Brazier. Ryan Brazier's on call just for the role. Absolutely. And, and, and he answered that call, my friend. He answered that call. Um, good episode lined up for you. A lot to talk about. A lot to talk about regarding the Red Sox, and we're gonna steer off course a- at least five times, I would say. Um, someone keep count of that at home. How many times we we have segues? Um, if you're new here, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Pod on Lansdown. Uh, and you know what? If you're if you're a listener on Apple or, or Spotify, wherever you listen to this podcast, uh, why, why don't you go down there? Why don't you leave a five star review for us? Huh? Write a little review. Say something nice uh, about my hair. Liam's hair, Jake's hair, whatever it is. Uh, Five-star review, and you know what? Drop your favorite. um, What should we drop? What what should they drop? Favorite what? A type of cloud. Favorite type of cloud. Oh, type of cloud. That's a good one, Jake. Let's go around. Let's. We we want to share ours. Three of us. What's the big chonker? O- Orbeus M- is, Nimbus or something? No, that would like be that? a cumulo, cumulo Nimbus. Cumulo Nimbus? Yeah, Just, that's the only I knew, one I remember. I knew one of the word was Nimbus, so I'm going to go with the big chonker. Uh, it, they're just, you know, jolly old clouds, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, those are like storm I mean, they, clouds. Yeah, those they signal that a thunderstorm's oh. building. Well, never mind. So. I don't like the, the Nimbus one. I, I like the big, fat, white chonkers. Those those are my favorite clouds. That would just be a cumulus if, if, you're not, if it's not a stormy one. Fitzimo cumulus here. That, that's what they call me. <laughs> There's, we've also got Stratus, which is like fog. Uh, Cirrus. This, this, this Stratus. Of course, there's Cumulus. <laughs> Weather with Jake. He's our resident anyway. meteorologist. Yeah. And we I love you, Stratus. <laughs> you guys are big weather guy. Like when you were little, you, you into weather at all? I, that was never me. I was not a. I liked clouds, but not weather. We should, we should have Mike Trout on to talk about weather. I Mike was gonna Trout, s- come on the pod. Yeah. He's a Huge notable weather guy. weather guy. Yeah. He's like on yeah. the weather channel sometimes. It's crazy. That was a big like sports talk radio. Baseball is dying. Like talking point. In, like the mid 2000s. Like your best player likes the weather. Blah, 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 blah. Like that was a big <laughs> like. This is why the league is dying. Blah, blah, blah. And then sure as shit. You know guys like Acuna, Soto, like Boba Shat, People who are fun noted. Flat. Noted weather haters. The three of yeah, them. Yeah. They, they hate fucking weather. despise the weather dude. They look at yeah. that cloud like that's Fuck, fuck that shit, dude. I don't want to say it. Yeah. That, that's why Bo plays in the dome or a retractable yeah. roof, at least. True. And, yeah. and they open it up for nighttime when there's not as many clouds, perhaps. Um, mm, Bo, Bo was well, that on. You, act, you probably just can't see them. They're they're probably still there. Bo's like, good, good. I don't want to. I, <laughs> I want nothing to do with them. Um, it's it's amazing that we've made it just under five minutes into this recording without mentioning this. Um, first order of business today, folks. I. I cannot hold it in any longer. We have to talk about the raccoon at the University of Arkansas <laughs> baseball game. Folks, have you seen this? Have you seen this? You hear about this, folks? You hear about heard, this? Have you heard about this? If I have heard about it, and I've yes. seen it. <laughs> that, that, you, both. It's all over you, Twitter. Both, check both and of those check. things. Yeah, yeah right? If, for, if, for those of you who may not have seen it, if you don't follow me on Twitter at Fitzimo Pena, or if you don't follow Liam Fennessy underscore, if you don't follow Jake Wallinger on Twitter, again, 
the the slogan of that is a what the fuck are you doing here like how 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 did you find us point? come on yeah right yeah they just stumbled upon us um <laughs> Thank you for being here and for following in all sincerity. But number two, if you haven't seen it, basically the, the gist of it, it, it's very simple. A um, couple folks watching an Arkansas Razorback baseball game, Wupig, um, out of nowhere, this trash panda comes in into the stands and this gentleman picks him up by the back of the neck, hoists him up, shows the crowd, is escorted out with the raccoon, holding the raccoon in his hand as he's leaving. Here's the thing with this raccoon, though. It's not just any regular trash panda here. This is not your run-of-the-mill standard city raccoon. Oh, no. This thing, for all intents and purposes, Liam, was a fucking bear. This was a monster of a raccoon. I could not... Like, it's like half the guy's body size. Like, you, you from the top to bottom, like, maybe including the tail. But this guy's fucking huge, this raccoon. And this guy just yoinked him up out of, out of nowhere. I, I can't get enough of this raccoon. I need more... Arkansas raccoon content. It, it made my entire weekend. I would I would venture to say that that thing weighed somewhere between 60 to 80 pounds. I think so. It was massive. It was a uh, huge raccoon. I cannot overstate. At least four feet long. And I don't know why he just grabbed it by the scruff of the, the scruff of its neck. There were videos <laughs> where like you could clearly see it was biting his hand. Like, I'm sure yeah, like he was nipping like back and it. forth. This is not this first guy's raccoon. It can't be, right? Like he's no, like, I mean it's Arkansas, naturally. Yeah, that, I was just gonna say he's sir, he's 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 uh, wrestling with he's crocodiles. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> he's had he's his fair around... share of of tussles with the. Yeah, raccoon. he's been around the block when it comes when it comes to raccoons. Um, Nature one of the boy. one of the most notable details of this ordeal, the this amazing display of bravery of this man yoinking up this trash panda and, and hoisting him up like Simba. Um, the NCAA college baseball account. The official account, you know, tweets out all the scores, all the highlights, shit like that. They tweeted a video of this. It was like a two-second long clip. What I didn't notice at first, someone had to point it out. Someone in the replies did. There is there is a person right a gentleman. Like four feet away. It's 2016. We're not going to assume if it's a gentleman. I, I have no 2016. idea. 2016. There, there was a victim. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> um, there, there is a gentleman or, or per person, like six feet. Five, six seats away, sees the raccoon and like trips or faints. Oh, the white shirt, the white shirt. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And like the video cuts at like the exact moment when the side of their head hits the seat. I'm like, that, yeah. th- like we've got a raccoon here, but the other story, this person's like concussed. Do they have to go to the hospital? Hope they're okay. I'm, it, I'm sure he needed medical attention. They, they, they hit that hard. Like in like the person behind it in, a, in like a red or maroon kind of shirt is obviously looking at the trash panda at first because why would you not? You see this marvel of a mammal <laughs> just being hoisted up to the heavens. This this fucking shocker, and then right at the last second, right as their heads hit into the side, he rose. Oh crap! Like we might have to go to the hospital for two people. One person has rabies. One person <laughs> has a concussion. We're gonna have to make multiple trips tonight, folks. I mean, I can't, I can't blame the gentleman in the white shirt for being spooked. I think I would have probably tripped yeah, he, over my yeah, own Yeah, I was going to say, he's well. actually the only one acting rationally. Yeah, like, he's trying shirt. to get away. Yeah. yeah. That's a normal response to a <laughs> raccoon. Three- <laughs> I actually have raccoon. You know, speaking of raccoons, there's actually a family of them living in my backyard currently, and they, they climb up on our fence and they just sort of post up there it's two raccoons they're best friends huh. or lovers i guess i can't tell and they got a 2016 they just, yeah <laughs> they, they just sit there raccoons are scary animals man i i totally understand the guy in the white shirt guy they're up to I no good them. that's that's what i gotta say mischievous one bitey <laughs> <laughs> in the i do rail. i do have a story um last year when I was at my my prior place of work, there was, I can't remember if it was a rat or people were saying it was like a groundhog. Um, but so we were getting like fan texts in the ballpark that this creature was running around the left field lower bowl. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, ev- and eventually, uh, like some guy pulled essentially what the guy in at Arkansas did. He like grabbed the animal and hoisted it up. And you had like these uh, these beat writers like tweeting out the image 
Um, and we're like, yeah, like something's going on in left field. We're not really <laughs> sure what it is. <laughs> Cause of course it was far more interesting than the game itself. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand like how critters like that, they, they always find a way in cats. Like, do you guys remember the, the course the cat one, in, right? Yeah. Well, that one, but the one I remember best is it was in St. Louis like years ago. And the poor grounds kid had to grab it and like carry it out of the ballpark. He's, spr- <laughs> he's like sprinting across the outfield grass as the cat's like scratching him and biting him. Oh, it's terrible. But he, <laughs> hey, he, he got the cat out of the building. So God bless him. He's you guys probably, like, animal 17 people? years old. Like in a, not in a weird like animal freak kind of way, but you guys <laughs> like animals? Like, you know? I was yeah, like where you were going with that at first. Yeah, I was like, it depends on the animal, I guess. Dogs are fantastic. I loathe cats. Like I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm allergic. I'm allergic. I'm allergic. I'm allergic. I'm allergic. Yeah, I'm, I'm not allergic. I just, I just despise them. I find them repulsive. I, I, you never I met a nice much. cat. I, I have met a couple nice cats. I, I've okay. met. I think I've so, met two of them. So actually, I, you're being dismissive of those few nice cats. That's fucked up of you. I'm, I'm, you know what? <laughs> They're gonna get their moment in the in the spot, like right here, Wallinger. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. My fiance's uncle has a cat. When we visited them in North Carolina. I think his name was Banjo off the top of my head. Banjo was a cool That's cat. That's a good name. That's and my buddy, my buddy from Revere ha- has a cat who's basically a dog. That 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 cat rules. Okay. Sure. It's it, very cool. Like I don't want you to elaborate name. on that. I'd rather not know what a cat <laughs> that's basically a dog means. It, it wasn't annoying. That that's basically all it comes down oh, to. Okay. Like it was chill. Like it had good vibes. You know what I mean? Was yeah. it an orange cat? Orange cats. It tabby. was like kind of love like it. A t- I love a tabby cat. <laughs> <laughs> It was like kind of like a like gray, blackish, like spots of white in there. Kind of a mixture, you know what I mean? Some tan, some beige per se. If you if you catch my drift, something now, like that. To, to answer your question, Liam, no, it was not an orange cat. Is what <laughs> the, the moral of the story is? Yeah, I could I could have saved a lot of time there. Um, yeah, but yeah, right. some animals are cool. Um, do you guys have like a, an, an obscure animal that you like? Or just I lo- just, not, it's not obscure, but my favorite animal is a dolphin. Dolphin. I'm a giraffe guy. I like giraffes. I, Have you guys ever seen like um this morning? Baby sea lions, cutest yeah. animals in the world. Yeah, adorable. Like sea, sea lions, are, sea lions yeah. are funny. Like sea otters would be great. Otters are yeah. very very funny. Have you Have you been to the uh, New England Aquarium and seen like the the sea lion kind of pool there, like or like sea I dogs? Have not. Um, no. There's like six of them. They're hilarious. They is that also... the one in Boston? Is it the one in yes. Boston? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, oh yeah, they... I have been there. Yeah, it's we went a couple months ago, and those those motherfuckers. My goodness, they get up. They have absolute bunnies out of the water. Like they just yoink right on up, and they they get some serious hang time, and they're funny too. Boys, um, can I just say I just received the notification. Franchi's here to stay. Let me say. Oh yeah, no, there's there's no doubt he's about here, it. He's here to stay. That notification as we as we watch this uh, Astros Red Sox game on the side. It's Monday evening as uh, we record this. Red Sox now lead the Astros two to one after French Cordero scores on a passed ball in the bottom of the fifth. So we got that going first, which is nice. I hope Bobby. I hope Bobby likes Worcester, man. I, I because he's not long for this roster. The the hey. himometer is going crazy for Franchi right now. Yeah, Bob, Bobby's got to get some restaurant recommendations uh, in the dirty woo. <laughs> um, you know, you know, so c- certain bars to, to frequent things of that nature. I uh, just had to tweet out the picture of Franchi holding the stack of bananas. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's a great picture. It, um, we'll get to those Boston Red Sox soon enough as you tune into this Red Sox based yeah, podcast. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> who cares? No. Um, t- two quick things I wanted to touch upon. Um, it, it sounds like maybe a good news, bad news kind of thing it has to deal with, with both of you. Um, do we want to start with the Perhaps bad news, Jake. You mentioned it before we started recording. Your, uh, your, for lack of a better term, your pizza gate that you had earlier oh. today. Uh, we'll start with the. It, it might be good news. I'm not sure. I just I know that the piece of news that has to do with Liam is good news. It so, is good news. It's great well, news, even. No, I That's was right. just. You asked me how. Well, for those that don't know, uh, I I deliver pizza um, when I'm home <laughs> here in in Connecticut. When I'm not in Boston, schooling. many say it's pizza time. When yeah, Jake gets behind the uh, and, and you know what? People mock pizza delivery drivers, and they shouldn't because yeah. we are vital to society. We're braver than the 
police, the <laughs> troops, and anyone else you could possibly think of. And, well, no, that's it, actually. We're braver than ever. <laughs> Society needs us. Do you, guys, do you guys remember that tweet where the guy was like, I bet if we, we pulled all the troops together, they could, like, form a football team to, like, yeah. beat the NFL? Yeah, pull that's, all the pizza, all the pizza delivery guys. guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... I and and you know what? It's a surprisingly lucrative business, and it takes little to no effort. I just drive around town like an asshole. You know, I just listen to podcasts and and uh, Phoebe Bridgers, and just coast around my central Connecticut town and deliver pizza. And it's do you have like good, the uh, do you it's have, like, honest an advertisement work. on the side or like on top? Yeah, I drive a little car that is like um, oh my god, the what Pizza Planet truck. No, yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Drive uh, around town listening to I Know the End with, with a couple of pepperoni pies in the front seat. Yep. Living your best life. Gotta I bet be the car smells great. I'm, I'm it sure does. That, it does. I'm sure that scent hasn't. Is it cloth seats? No, they're leather. Okay. So, yeah, I was going to say if it was cloth, that scent would be cloth seats st- stuck in there. Sorry if either of you have cloth seats or any of our listeners have cloth seats. D- disgusting. They stink. They stink. Absolutely they get, repu- repulsive. They can get banged up pretty quickly. They, they most <laughs> certainly can. How, how are the pies at um, wherever you play? Uh, what's the name uh, of No free ads. No free ads. No free ads. <laughs> what's it called? Uh, like Tony D'Angelo's house, house of Pizza? What, what right. so, like... <laughs> oh, uh, quick um, in memoriam for our Boston Bruins. Ooh, uh, yeah, a moment, moment of silence. Just, a moment of silence, just real quick. And it's over. Yep, that's it. <laughs> <And it's over. Okay. laughs> that, that's it. Yeah, that's all they deserved. They, uh, an embarrassing, yeah. uh, embarrassing. Series. They went out like Stan Chara, man. That, that was. That was <laughs> they <awesome>. did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> that was, the, the, the perfection line, as they are often called by Boston fans. Everyone calls them the perfection line. They, yep. they looked at Stan Chara like, "Am I going out like that?" And the hockey god said, "Yes, indeed." But that, that's how you're going out. So yeah. shout we out to Pizza to... Deliver. What's that? We don't need to. We don't need to get into the. Yeah, I don't have to divul- no. vul- divulge further. Oh, Jake uh, Odorizzi. Yeah. They're bringing a fucking cart out for him. I guess oh. he just got hurt. Oh, oh, oh what? I guess he snapped his leg or some shit. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the MLB Network stream of it or broadcast mm. of it. Well, oh, prayers no, to no. Jake Odorizzi. No, that's not good. Shit. Oh. Hmm. This is great radio. Oh, man. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. Oh, they got the well, gurney out for him. Jeez. Uh, you guys ever been on a know, gurney? Can't no. Say can't say no. Have either. you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I've been in a wheelchair, but not a gurney. Do, do we know what happened? Did, I, I didn't see what happened. I don't know. Did he get hit by a pitch or did he? Just no, like he was. Twi- he was running was he off. Fielding? He was running towards first, and he just collapsed. Ah, damn. Ooh. Do you guys remember when Garrett Richards blew up his leg at Fenway? Um, yes. Like 2014, that was gross. Yeah, no, that, was that was another not nasty good. one. My, Keep the saying worst not pitcher, good, but the worst <laughs> not pitcher injury all. I've yeah. ever seen was when Tim Hudson was covering first. I don't remember who it was, but somebody stepped on his ankle and it like it just it went Oof. like 90. It went uh, like 90 degrees. Uh, who was the guy on? Was it the Rays in like the late 90s? He. It, he tried to throw. I don't know if it was a fastball or a slide, whatever it was. And like, it, there's no way to put it. Like his arm snapped, like in the middle of the pitch, basically. And like you see it, and like he immediately, like on the follow through, like hits the deck, holding it. Like, ah, oh, god, that is. Like everyone brings up like the Joe Theismann injury for football, like graphic injuries. Um, Naturally, who was the guy who was the um guy on Louisville basketball, Kevin Ware. Yeah, oh, yes. that sounds right. Yeah, yeah, that was that where he was just jumping. And came yeah. down and yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. We all that's know. horrifying. Yeah. Easter Sunday, yeah, really nice to. <laughs> ugh, that, that was gruesome. But that I I forget the guy's name. If anyone knows the guy's name, um, let us know. But that that was one of the more gruesome injuries I've ever seen. So, um, prayers up to Jake Odorizzi. Hopefully, it's not that bad, and hopefully he he can get back onto the field. That that that's tough. Um, yeah, being taken off the field. Uh, anyways, back to back to the show here. Um, shout out to pizza delivery drivers, and also shout out to Liam for getting his white whale. Basically, uh, yeah, Liam, uh, it's he, he it, finally found it. So it was a very exciting day. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was, 
Uh, uh, burp. Jason, Jason. Uh, sorry. Fuck. I didn't hear the burp. You I didn't got away with that burp. You got a mute was, button there. If you're gonna burp, man, use that. Mute it was button. it. I don't. It just it attacked me. You know. It, it sneaks up on you. Well, you're about yeah. to graduate college, so that means you're getting older. So the the bit that this John is. Williams, I'll actually. This is my last pod without a degree. Shout, Ooh, shout out to that's it. exciting. Yeah, not the ceremony. Whatever. Oh, uh, the, the ceremony is the Jake getting out of here. The, it's Friday. The, that's right. And Fitz isn't. I'm going. leaving this whole fucking He's got town. A head cold. I review Mira. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You'd be like, uh, I'm, good actually, I'm actually returning to the same school for grad school. So I'm actually <laughs> not love leaving. It. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm, I'm staying. Um, what was I going to say? White whale, um, hoodie. Liam, go share. Yeah. Mm, yes. So uh, where was I? Uh, very exciting news. Uh, after months, nearly literally a full calendar year. I have finally been able to purchase a Red Sox City Connect sweatshirt. So round of applause. Um, kudos That's to off. me for, for yeah, about having damn the, time. the perseverance and the drive to really stick this one out. Um, it, it took a lot of willpower and I'm just, I'm just happy we finally saw it through. Mission accomplished, as one of our former presidents would say. <laughs> I was going to say, we, we, we've talked about this before right we, we yeah it was, it was one of the it was one of the first the, one of the first few episodes where we talked about it um, and you've been on this scent for a while liam oh my god like i said a full calendar year because they were sold out you know maybe a week after they released the they initially released the city connect merchandise um and they never restocked the yellow sweatshirt so that just yeah. that one never happened um but thankfully i guess you know for supply chain reasons or whatever the the city connect hoodie of this season was uh was delayed a bit so it's finally up online now no free it's, ads i won't tell you what try and do a new one every year they're gonna run out of colors or run out of comp color combinations hmm. i would really like to go back I, I mean i do i do like the solid yellow one i'll be honest so what you, this one is like the blue this is the, yeah, the with the with the yellow font and yellow sleeves exactly which That's I good, like. Still a good look, though. Yeah. I, I like that. I mean, it is probably more flattering than just the the all yellow, but, you know. The banana. We'll take what we can get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the banana socks. So um, I got I, I to gotta ask Liam. Speaking of. This, oh, 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 or, oh, 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 oh. Or, no, I was just going to say, here. maybe we should talk about the Red Sox. We're 23 minutes in. We haven't said <laughs> We will. We will. We will. Don't worry. We will. The last point I wanted to make about the sweatshirt, though, Liam, Um. I imagine this was on Fanatics, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. As the, no as free the ads. Astros hit a home run. But it, it, not an ad, but uh, well, it's actually going to segue. Uh, rhymes with Manatics. Okay, so the, the company that rhymes with Manatics is actually the opposite <laughs> of an ad. Are you going to continue your smear campaign against them even after they supplied this? Or is, it, uh, is this a, um, is this a mm. stalemate in, in, the, uh, in the hot war between you and that company? That's, uh, that's a great point, actually, you know, because of – the pure elation I've had all day, I, I hadn't considered this, um, hmm. but they, they've they definitely, I'm definitely giving brownie points for finally pulling through. Um, hmm. But uh, I'll never, it just, I'll just, never give fanatics. It took credit. so long. <laughs> it took it, it, it took over 12 months to get, to get these hoodies back up. There. I'll never, under, I'll never you do not under any circumstances have to give, have to give it to them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, but no, they're, they're in a better spot than they were for sure. Um, we'll see if I, I saw they're starting to release like the, the Ortiz hall of fame merchandise too. So mm. we'll see if they have anything cool there, but did I guys no. tell you about that? I'm going to check that out. No, yeah. uh, actually. Yeah, you did. Yeah. We talked about, I thought you guys were both going. We got to do uh, a I, live. Show. I don't know. Pot on Cooper sound. We got to do a live. <laughs> I've never been quite honestly. I've never, I've I went never when I was either. like, Four. I, I barely remember it. I'm excited to go back. I'm, I'm pumped. It's going to just me and my dad. Uh, it's going to be like a real, uh, real field of dreams vibes. Guys being you know, dudes. Guys, have, guys ha being dudes. Having a catch. Amen. Having a catch with my dad. Exactly. <laughs> um, ha having a couple stews with him. So let's actually get into the Red Sox though, Jake. You, you, you raise a good idea. Uh, let, let's talk about the Red Stockings. A, um, not a bad but, week. For the no, Red Sox. Actually, well, no, I actually, it was a winning I week. Actually, yeah. Yeah. I was a to weird say, week. I was they went. Say. They went three and two since we last recorded. Yeah, which is far and away the best week they've had. So <laughs> let's give them credit. <laughs> da, 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 yeah, that's great. Three and two. Um, you know, you pick you pick your. I don't know what I'm trying to say. 
I'm, it's a good week, <laughs> I guess. I well, don't know. I'll say this. Yeah, good. beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I guess, it, yeah, like, yeah. It, well, the week before, I went fucking, what, five and one? Like One in five, I think it was. One in five. That's what so, I meant. Yeah, Which is, is a massive meant. improvement. It, big, big time improvement. Um, it, it, A weird week, though, Um, because those three wins, all three of them, very encouraging. I mean, pitching looked good, all things considered, during those wins. Uh, offense obviously blew up to put up some crooked numbers. That was great. The thing with the losses, just two back, back-breaking losses. I mean, the walk-off mm. in... Atlanta, that that stuck. Courtesy, courtesy of one Ryan Brazier. Yeah, again, we'll 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 get in we'll get into him. Um, I I have a, f- a frightening indictment against him. Uh, Actually, a- both losses week. were courtesy of one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because he gave Basically, up two home runs on Sunday. Brazier. Yeah, and then and you were in the game on Sunday. Uh, and before he took you sh- out of it. Yep, fit hit the shan <laughs> when Brazier came in, and they they weren't able to recover from that. So, um. Step in the right direction, like we mentioned. Um, the, the road to fourteen and five on Memorial Day is uh, still alive, but it, it's a weird week. I think a weird week, all things considered. But again, you know, maybe the the offense starting to heat up a little bit. Maybe maybe that's a, a sign of things to come. What do you, What do you think, Jake? Some general thoughts uh, before we get into fuck with, don't fuck with. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's as encouraging a week as. Other, I mean, unless they went like five and zero, oh, but I'm, you know, I don't expect that. <laughs> they have their problems, but they looked okay. Like, and I think the way the lineup is sort of starting to shake out, like Franchi, <clears throat> uh, seems like he's he's established himself in there, and that's positive. That's one less what has been an automatic out. So, I think overall positive i this i feel like it was a stepping stone to what is hopefully an even better week this week yeah no i know i have to agree with jake i i mean franchi looks like i he's got the eye of ted williams suddenly the spirit of ted williams has has possessed franchi um he hasn't oh he had a double tonight but uh you know he's had a couple walks there was one night where he had like three walks in atlanta which was a great sign yeah. Um, yeah, Bobby has necessar- six walks on the year. <laughs> well, how about that? Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Well, Liam, it's um, funny no. you mentioned that about Franchi, how how Franchi has the eye of Ted Williams. Um, he's actually the exact opposite of Ted Williams. You know why? He's hot. Why is that? He is hot. He's on fire, even. <laughs> oh, because Ted is frozen. Is that mm, the there joke? There you go. <laughs> Got it. Bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> well, no, like that, that, that is what it is, but continue. But we'll no, edit that I out. Feel... We'll edit that one. Yeah. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I know I gotta I gotta sink with the ship, baby. A good captain sinks with the ship. There you go. That's there you right. go. He's he's a man of man of honor, man of integrity. Right. <laughs> um but no, Franchi looked great. Trevor finally had his first home run, looked great in Texas. Um like the off like the the lineup outside of like Vasquez kind of seemed promising now with Franchi and, and Trevor finally heating up. I mean, Kike JBJ, started to look better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, JBJ is yeah. killing it at home at least. I'll give him that. Sure. Again, not, like I said, like some productive at bats from him. And I think that's starting to spread to the team and I'm kind of foreshadowing what I wanted to bring up for fuck with don't fuck with. Um, do you want to just jump into that after some general sentiments, what we what we're specifically liking? Yeah. Do we want to just lead? Don't fuck with. We can all say the same thing. I think. Playing the role of Matt Barnes. <laughs> yeah. All right. On, on, yeah, I'm, on I'm not go. fucking with Kevin Ploiecki. It's obvious <laughs> one, that we're two, not going to do it. One, no. two, three, go. Well, I'll say it. One, two, three, go. Ryan, Ryan Brazier. Brazier. Ryan, Brazier. Ryan, Brazier. That, was, that, was, Brazier, that was very in sync. It's, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's going to sound great. That's going to yeah. be awesome. <laughs> that's going to be an excellent sound bite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like the uh, the SpongeBob movie when they do the uh, bl- bubble blowing babies thing uh, at at the bar, and then like one guy at the end is too late on bar. Um, <laughs> no, in he, regards he, to Mister Brazier, I've had enough of this guy. Yep, it's always sunny. Pointing at the picture, I've had enough of this guy. Um, Matt Andrees, I was gonna say walks. Oh my god, I forgot. Uh, about so him. so Ryan Brazier could run. It's more like Matt Andrees um, fell. So. <laughs> And Ryan Brazier could and fall set and then, himself on and then, fire <laughs> and then proceed to just have a diarrhea in his pants. That's what I was going to say. 
He fell, yeah. got lit on fire, pooped his pants. All He's of that. got nothing. Nothing on that fastball. Have you noticed that? There is yeah. nothing Throwing on that fastball. Meatballs down it's there. great if you can touch 95 and above. Yeah, that's great. But when you're leaving it on a freaking platter for guys, when it doesn't even have an ass hair's worth of movement on it, it's big leaguers are going to catch up to that and they're going to take advantage of that. And you saw it. You saw it with uh, Arcia in Atlanta. That walk off home run was on 2 0 when. I think Vasquez ended up being the catcher later. Okay, I don't think he started, but I think he was catcher. whoever the catcher was, right? Yeah, because Pilecki got tossed that night. That's which right. Yeah, with, the with um the, stole at least one run from us with Thanks the call at, at his fucking shins on on a three two count. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That Wednesday um, game sucked. No, it was not fun. But Vaz sets out outside two zero, hangs it over the plate, middle middle, dick high, nothing fastball. It's a miracle. I tweeted this. It's a miracle that Arcia didn't send it to Jupiter. It's a miracle he didn't send it to where Pujols sent his home run against Brad Lidge in 05. It's it's a miracle that it it only just cleared the fence. It was a nothing fastball. And that's what you're getting from Brazier right now. It's what we said about Matt Barnes, what, last week, that he shouldn't be pitching in a game like past the sixth inning. I mean, Ryan Brazier... Should, shouldn't even be pitching in any game. Period. I was say, he, should, he shouldn't he be, be pitching team. past the first inning. <laughs> <laughs> you can pitch in the zero th- inning. <laughs> that, that's all him. We're going to give you the ball there. We trust you to that's take care. He, he can throw BP. It's all yours, game. Brian. It's all yeah, yours. Right? He, he can throw out the ceremonial first pitch. It'd be better than Stevie Aoki's Steve. first pitch today. <laughs> Get him in the you outfield. He's, Aoki he's clearly is, got arm strength. The heir yeah. to the, to the Benny Hanna. Uh, I have fortune. He's the heir to the Benihana fortune. What? Yeah. Really? I did yeah. not know that. Yep. I thought he was just a DJ. Nope. You'd be wrong if you thought that. <laughs> I'd be very wrong. I thought he was a pitcher too. I'd I'd also be wrong there clearly because <laughs> he wanted to set. He wanted to hit Joe Castiglione in the noggin with that. Yeah. And yeah, Steve Aoki's you... pitches hit me in the eye. <laughs> 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 He's trying um, to take out Dave O'Brien for us. I take Aoki over Brazier, though. At least Aoki isn't going to hang it over the plate to just be fucking hit to Saturn. You dude. know, you know who seemed to be a, a very promising young arm over the weekend. I knew who you're going to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, a young man named Albert Pools from the Dominican Republic. Oh, that's Republic. not who I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were gonna, yeah, right. He, he had the Ethos pitch going there, Liam. Who, who did you think yeah, he, he, he was going to say? Try magic. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, well, Schreiber is him. We've, yeah. we've established. Whoa, this. whoa! You, what gives you the right? <laughs> sir? Um, jury's out. Jury's out on if he's him. Well, I'll Thermo- see a little bit more. The, the himometer is still kind of. It, it's trying to figure it, it out. It needs to be calibrated first. Yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. He he hasn't he hasn't pitched enough innings for me to determine if he's him or not. He looked good though. What he pitched like yeah. two, three innings the other day. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. He looked, encouraging stuff from there and i think it um it it, kind of leads into an interesting point um i mean you've got these issues with brazier um barnes i know the velo i think has ticked back up which is encouraging but i'm not necessarily holding my breath with him um and overall the whole bullpen situation has been a talking point at what point do we start seeing younger guys like when at what point do we see a connor siebold at some point get the call from worcester at what point do we you see someone like a shriver more often dude i would have done it two weeks ago the back end of the bullpen yeah. is a fucking well, it's a disaster like, it's a nightmare i mean it's three or four guys i don't know i can't even i can't fathom <laughs> it it's it really is like they don't there's nothing there on their best day they're still bad well, it's to piggyback kind of what we mentioned last week. Like, it, how much more worse can it get than what Ryan Frazier is giving you right now? It, it, yeah, like there's, there's got to be, there's right? gotta be, be somebody someone in, in the Worcester. Red Sox system that is better yeah. than that. It has to be. How, I think how old is, yeah, is it? Isn't isn't Bizarro still on still on the forty man? Yeah, and maybe he's not on the forty uh, forty man, but he's in Worcester. And, um... Oh my god, who's the other one? Who's the one that can't throw strikes? I'm blanking hard on his name right now. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all right, Brazier. Ryan Brazier can't throw strikes. He's almost too good at throwing strikes. Yeah. Because, again, it's like it's like 
It's like T-ball. It the exact it right opposite the... of uh, Jake Diekman, who I've turned on. I, I hate to say it. I don't feel like we had seen him at all recently, and he comes in right now and, and gives up a run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're bringing in Schreiber with two yeah. outs yeah. and runners speak on of, the corners. Speak of the devil. So – Number yeah, forty-six. Uh, Deakman, that that um that first appearance by Deakman, went, or maybe I don't think it was his first appearance, but in, in the, the Bronx, Bronx, the third oh, game he struck insanity. out the side. That was that was a fluke. I think it's safe. Lightning to say. in that a bottle. Not, yeah, I don't. Nothing. With a bigger I've seen sample from him size now. Yeah. Since that day, have I been like, wow, he he's looking good. I mean, he he simply has no idea where the ball's going when it comes out of his hand. Just no, there's just there's zero throwing it. Zero control. He's not let pitching. It fly, baby. <laughs> yeah, he's not pitching. He's throwing. He's throwing. Oh, Ryan Brazier is it. pitching though. He he's pitching and he's pitching poorly. Um, Greg Maddox. That's right. Some would say. Um, I know. Like these are these people's like livelihoods, their jobs, and at the end of the day, like there's a person behind there. But I I, I understand that. But like, let's not kid ourselves. Ryan Brazier <laughs> a is not he's not a major league pitcher. He's also. He's not. He's also follows Madison Cawthorn, so he's ah oh, boy. <laughs> that's another one. It's another. That's kind of that's kind of red flag. Thing. That's a red flag. Interesting couple weeks for Madison Cawthorn. Uh, yeah. as of late, he's been uh, yeah, he's been online. One could say. He, one could say that he's been. Say. One could say that he's uh, logged on. <laughs> as well. <of> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Um, but. I'm ready to do it, fellas. This is the indictment that I was teasing a couple moments ago. If you followed me for a while on Twitter, you know that there is a thing that I would do with Ryan Brazier when things are going well, uh, and that's to use the red B emoji uh, in place of any letter B. Um, the big oh Brazier God. brand was hot. Um, Liam, were you the person who made the um, Yukon, Cor- Yukon Cornelius Edit with the guns in in the no. I, I mean, Someone I wish I was, that. but I know it, what you're talking about. Great picture, uh, Jay. Do, do you know the one Yukon Cornelius from? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. I guns. don't know who yeah. made it. I um, made it though. How how I wish to tweet that out again in good conscience, but I can't. Um, that I one's going in the, on the folder program. forever. I think. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you're, can hang you're, that you're, one in the rafters. Me right now. Um, yeah, I've teased on. I've, I've mentioned it on the show before. Uh, there's a moratorium. On the B emojis, um, it's no longer a moratorium because it's permanent. Mm. I am a- yeah. announcing here at 9.06 Eastern Time on Monday, May 16th, the year of our Lord, 2022. The B emojis are done for Ryan Brazier. The tr- it's the about big Brazier, damn time. The it's Big Brazier print. Damn time. As the founder of the Big Brazier brand, as president of that fan because i there once upon a time i loved brazier he, he was triple B's. automatic triple B's, baby yeah the the, the uh lavar ball we we yeah, yeah battle mode uh it was fantastic it was it was great to tweet that out it was fun um but i i think all of my patience has been exhausted and to quote wanda maximov in Doctor Strange and the multiverse multiverse of madness uh I, i'm being i'm being reasonable here i i can't no more B emojis. I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it, Jake. It's it's a sad day, but it's warranted at this point. Had to be done. Yeah, I mean, quite quite frankly, he's. I, I, I think it's taken too long. I hate to say it. Fitz. Probably I to, has. I, I hate to put you on blast like that, but uh, the I dude, understand. he's washed. He's washed, and he, <laughs> wear, he is washed. <laughs> you wear rose colored glasses. Sometimes you miss the, you miss the red flags. You know what I mean? I guess. But yeah, uh, what's that, Bojack? Um, yeah, that is a BoJack reference. I think that was uh, it was definitely a BoJack reference. I thought maybe it was just kind of like a common phrase, like, ro- like rose-colored glasses. I think that's a thing. But uh, yeah, Lisa Kudrow's character, the owl there. I forget her name off the top of my head. Oh, uh, love Lisa. <laughs> love Lisa. Uh, sp- Great show, BoJack. Lisa, <laughs> I love BoJack. BoJack's my time. I've seen it, what, it was only twice now, but it, love BoJack. Uh, speaking of Lisa Kudrow, just a, a quick side point. Uh, Liam, you, you, uh, you, you're facing the hates friends allegations today. Uh, mm. how, how do you plea? Um, cause I think you should plead guilty. Cause that show is yeah. so overrated. That show is not good. No, lock me up. Throw away the key. <laughs> I don't care. I'll take it. <laughs> but Liam, but Liam, could he be wearing any more clothes? I have to ask you, could he be wearing any more clothes? It's a yes or no question. Could, listen, wait, listen I'll defend I'll defend Lisa <laughs> Kudrow with my life. So let's step off. She's cool. I like Lisa Kudrow. She's fine. I just I friends I I can't do it. I just I can't. 
an episode of Friends is good for like one chuckle an episode, not even like a hearty laugh, like a huh, like okay, that's like that's kind of yeah, sensible was, uh, chuckle, a yeah, like, yeah. A, huh. like you know, like, yeah, you know, game recognize a game, you know, credit where it's due. That that that, that was two chuckles right there from uh, <laughs> from Joey. <laughs> did you both see Multiverse of Madness? Oh yeah, I did. I did. Oh, did we? Did we? We didn't discuss last week, did we? I we did not. No, I thought I it was. Thought it was I thought it was. Eh. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. I, it didn't blow me I away. Was, it was, I was well. It was enjoyable. I was well. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to go see it a second time in theaters, but. No. No. Room temperature water. I was like, eh. Yeah, there's some fine. parts that I like. But... There are some other parts. Some of the dialogue was extremely corny. I agree. That was. That really was. Bad. It's. Uh, you... Well, I mean, that's kind of like Rami's thing, though. Even for like, Sam Rami's superhero to, like, the movie. Even movies. by those standards, it was really, really bad. <laughs> um, go back to hell. <laughs> yeah. That was, um. And then, I won't spoil it for people who haven't seen it, but there's about 30 minutes in the middle of the movie that results in, like, nothing. There, there was no need for it. It was just all for the Reddit soy boy facing. Like, that. that's all it was for. There was Oh, yeah. oh I, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wally on opening day. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's... There was and it, there, there was no point to it. And maybe we could talk about it off stream. Just again, I don't want to have any spoilers for anyone. Well, we could drop um, a spoiler alert. I, I feel spoiler like the cat's alert. out of the bag. Like the images. Fine, are all spoiler over alert! Yeah, if you I mean, have not seen Doctor Strange, quite frankly, if, I mean it, the movie came out a week and a half ago. You know that's your ass. If yeah, you're, good point. If, you, <laughs> if you're <laughs> your one that the cares line. about it, and you, you haven't seen, seen it, it a, a week and a half later, that's on you. All right, you this is your final warning here. If you haven't watched Doctor Strange, fast forward like five minutes. We'll be done with this conversation by then. The whole fucking Mr. Fantastic, uh, Rambo being back, uh, Patrick Stewart, like that, that was, all of that was so Rambo? Who the fuck Monica is... Rambo or like... Oh, oh Monica Rambo. Yeah, no, yeah. You know, like yeah. fucking <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. I was like, was he in it? <laughs> well, I mean, it was, it was the multiverse of madness. Uh, you got, uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Strange. Uh, Wanda, you gotta, uh, Wanda, you can, gotta stop. Uh, I, could, I, could, I could take Wanda. You know, I could take Wanda. Man, some He's in the MCU. Sly. He's that's in right. Yeah. That's He's right. Guardians. That's right. The galaxy. That's yeah. right. Oh, that's um, a lot. That's but crazy. But that whole fucking thing was stupid because it was it was so funny that like all four were like, oh, we could take Wanda. We could absolutely take Wanda. That Wanda just fucking pieces them. Immediately. Gruesome. <laughs> I actually wish they went a little harder on the on the like, graphic violence. I, I, th- I no, love, I'm not like, being funny. Like, like that's fun. Like, let Sam I, let Sam Raimi cook. You know, let, yeah. let, let's. I loved all the like maybe. horror aspects of it. Yeah, it was, that, that, part that was the was, best parts of the great. movie. Yeah, the, let Sam cook, man. He, the fact that legend. Peggy Peggy goes, "Oh, I could do this all day." And then, not fifteen seconds so, later, no, they, they even <laughs> gave her the Green Goblin death like face thing, like where it yeah. it. It does the zoom in and you go, Boop, like, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and then uh, I thought I thought uh, Black Bolt's death was the best. That was really awesome. Oh my god, that's where I was like, oh, uh, that, that was that was really it... cool. Mister Fantastic turning into spaghetti was like fun, but when then his like, head pops, that's, that yeah, was, that was, was that cool. was cool. Captain Marvel's death sucked. Like a pillar fell on her. I didn't. That yeah. Was, <laughs> Yeah. That like, whole stretch it, of the movie isn't she like an alien stupid. god? Like she's, ha- I mean, why would a pillar kill her? Captain Carter getting cut in half was cool, and then uh, Professor X was kind of dumb. I didn't. That one was yeah, was snap know. his neck. They, they keep killing poor Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps coming back to die. <laughs> poor dude. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um. Anyway, again, that whole stretch of the movie was freaking dumb, but it was a fine movie. It was fine. All right, uh, enough with the the, the Doctor Strange, uh, Doctor Strange talk. I almost called him Doctor Stranger. Doctor, uh, Doctor, <laughs> that video of fucking lights, camera, Jackson. I love doctor, that. Doctor, <laughs> give me the news. I got a bad case of Doctor Strange. <laughs> it's not even. It's not even like a. It's so good. It's anything. so it makes, good. It makes no sense. It's so good. <laughs> That that guy Ugh. that guy is a fully. Do you guys like know about like lights camera Jackson at all? Like it, the the mystique of that man. Not not particularly. Not, no. not particularly. So he he he. Oh God, I don't even. He's like a movie. Like he's a complete cinephile to like the most extreme, and he does like his top tens at the end of the year. And every year they're like ten movies nobody's ever heard of. Like they're like <laughs> what are these? Like the dude watches a thousand movies a year it's unbelievable 
Um, and it's not like his, I don't, he, you should, for anybody listening as well, Lights Camera Jackson on Twitter, uh, give him a follow. He's he's funny, <laughs> and I'm not positive he's self aware, so that makes it a little bit better. <laughs> get him on the pod, baby. Get get him on here. Well, yeah, let's. We should. He stuff. would totally come on. He would totally talk come baseball on. movies. <laughs> yes, let's do it. We we, we could talk about the the one or two lines that the Bear Jew references. Uh, Ted Williams in Inglorious Bastards. That too. That too. Because he says Teddy fucking ball game. It's a win a really to... bad Boston accent too. Yes. 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 Teddy Eli fucking Roth. ball game. Hit hit that one too. Out of the two pack. Down, like the show. Yeah, onto Lansdowne. As if Ted Williams was consistently a, a opposite field power hitter. He like always he, pulled off always. all his power. Yeah. Come on, Quentin. You, Noted you wanna, opposite you... field hitter, Ted Williams. Yeah, right-handed batter. <laughs> Base, baseball fan, Quentin Tarantino. That that feels like there's a bit that has maybe some legs on it. <laughs> you know, I don't like the shift here. And I don't like the fucking shift. Like, there needs to be... Two people on each side of the fucking bag, okay? They don't put your That's pretty good on this. That was a good okay. one. That one is that right. one's really good. That's We've had a couple good. good ones already. That, that That's pretty good. You should actually say Sylvester. all the lines he says in Pulp Fiction. You, you should say all of them right the, now. The coffee one. Yeah, every <laughs> single one. <laughs> every single line he says, you should actually repeat them verbatim. Just kidding, guys. Oh, boy. <laughs> it ain't the coffee in my kitchen. I'm not saying the next line. Um... Anyways, Boston Red Sox. Um, our collective don't fuck with being Ryan Brazier. Let's get back Absolutely. onto the fuck with. Let's let's get let's get positive here. Liam, uh, your fuck with is it? Am I safe to assume that it's Frenchie Cordero? Um, no, because I'll mix it up. No, how bit. embarrassing, I, Fitz! You yeah, piece had, of shit. because um... <laughs> 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 no, I said Frenchie a couple weeks ago, and we were like, "Oh, that boy's starving." Uh... <laughs> <laughs> So I'll go. I'll go. Trevor Story this week. Um, yes, first home run yeah. in Atlanta. Did he homer again in Couple Texas? Couple swipes. No, no, he did. He not. came close. He came close in Texas. Couple steals. But, um, good. You know, more productive abs at least, with yeah, the exception and, of his first one yesterday when there was a runner in scoring position and he didn't. He just kept the bat on his fucking shoulders against Martin Perez, who we love, but still yeah, let's, swing the wait, bat, let, buddy. But for the most part, uh, speak still, for yourself. Tangent. I don't. I don't know if I love is boo. We love is, is Martin Perez having a moment? Is he going to start he, the All Star game? Uh, dare I say <laughs> he is him? Martin Perez is him. House, I got. I got to say, Martin Perez. He kind of reminds me of Omar from The Wire. <laughs> <laughs> but first, Pearl Jam. Um, no, his story definitely taking steps in the right direction. Um, not all the way there yet. Um, obviously, and the, 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 vi- the stinks, vibes but... feel much better. Um, yeah, you know, like after it, he hit his home run, like, like, the, that's, that's, the, the, biggest out, like, the, the that's like, the biggest yeah. thing with a, with a ball club, boys. It's vibes, you know. I mean, what about the vibes? It's These like guys practically live together for six months. Yeah, if the, the vibes are bad, the team's bad. I mean, what's the worst? Twenty twelve Red Sox. Like any sport, I mean, seldom do you find a team that has bad vibes that's good. I mean, you could count them on, but but and you have to have add, like generational talent. Yeah, on I was that. gonna say. Let me well, add. Yeah, usually, make up if the team it. if a team is good and has bad vibes, they're amazing. Point two, the 1990s Chicago Bulls. I was gonna Horrific. say like the late 90s Bulls. There, when, when, did, the, vibes. when, did, the, when, did, when did Kobe and Shaq <laughs> beef kind of start for for the Lakers? Uh, uh, was that after like the like Lakers championship? Like oh no, they 03? won. I think they won one or two when, when they were beefing. Okay. Well, again, it only speaks to your point, you know, Jack and yeah. Kobe, you know, all time legends. Um, but yeah, no, it's it, it, the, the team does seem for considering how disappointing their record is to start. The team does seem all things considered loose, you know, you know, like it's you still got Kiki Kike looking like a goof. You, you got the confetti like you mentioned, Liam, after the first home run. Like it's it's still fun vibes there. Um, curious to see if they're still you know, treading water at best by the all-star break if the vibes are still like that. You know, you get closer to the trade deadline. You got decisions to make. I don't know if that's going to fuck up the vibes. But right now, um, if only the vibes could be translated into into wins <laughs> because then the, the Sox, would be, uh, Sox would be right in the hunt. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They can't, though. That, so. <laughs> what, 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 somebody somebody was saying, I, I, will, I, I won't name names, but someone on Twitter was like, we we would be five hundred or better um, if Whitlock had been in the bullpen. That's like true. The last That's weeks. a fact. I mean, I think we'd be around five hundred. I don't think we. I don't think we'd be over five hundred because the Dude, offense hasn't done of, anything of, for the first six weeks. I think the general idea of the point, you know, remains though. You well, know? They'd, oh, be I'm, be- I'm they'd be in a Liam, much, I'm all pedant- be in a much I'm better. Pedantic. <laughs> I need fucking. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm the contrarian. Yeah. Why are you being a dick about that? Quote. Well, ac- well actually, Liam, no, Liam, Shap- Liam, actually, Liam Shapiro. Actually, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Liam Shapiro. We actually we 19 and 20. Let's say, for the sake of the argument, that <laughs> Gary Whitlock was in the bullpen. One might say that, for the sake of the argument, <laughs> the Red Sox would be over 500 instead of under 500. The point being, Liam, we'd be a lot better if Tanner had I know, I know we'd be in a, I know we'd be point. in a better position. You but value also- baseball wins over personal freedoms for <laughs> Tanner Howe. <laughs> I do absolutely value wins over Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me be frank for everybody that listens to Just this. Just do it, Tanner. If you are on a my professional team that I follow, I don't you I want to win. I want you to win. And I don't care if you don't like a little needle in your arm. <laughs> okay? I don't care about that. How about uh Robbie Ray? Definitely not vaxxed. They haven't said anything. He was just he... in Toronto. So no. how could he not No, when, no he's, not going. he's not going. He's not going to Toronto. Well, I don't think he can. because like, because it like he, no because it, it, it they just it, like a, two months okay ago. fair enough I was gonna say because he yeah. just pitched for the Blue Jays last year yeah. he won the Cy Young Award with the Blue Jays so I, I forgot yeah. when they when they started it so uh, did they announce that it's a COVID thing with Robbie Ray no and they's like he's not addressing the media while they're in I mean, Toronto it's safe so to like, assume I mean come on I'd imagine like that's hippo that's guys what... <clears throat> please <laughs> it's 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 hungry hippo. hungry hippo baby that um, is hippo. <laughs> Jake, what are you fucking with this week? What am I fucking with this week? Uh, hmm. Well, like, if you, you took story. Devers, I suppose. He's he's had a very strong week. He's hitting the shit out of the ball again. He's just, he's just Devers, baby. He's, he's sort just... of, he dipped. He, he had a small dip for a little. He wasn't hitting uh, for really any power for a little stretch there. But that seems to have come back. Um, Sherwood. Be a nice guy to have locked up for the foreseeable future, let me tell you. But uh, if only. Uh, here's a funny little. I'll go on a little tangent. <clears throat> it's not really. Wait, a tangent, we're, going, we're going on a tangent on the show. No, what? I don't believe. <laughs> he, it. I don't it came out today that for any hockey fans here, it came out today that the Penguins had offered Chris Letang and Evgeny Malkin. They both offered them a three-year, fifteen million, so five five million a year contract extension, which is a pretty severe underpay for both which, of them. Not to, to quickly butt in quickly. I I don't know hockey contracts. Like hockey contracts will be announced. Like yeah, like Connor McDavid just got paid eleven million dollars. That's the highest contract in NHL history, or they're, something. They're like small. That. Is they, yeah, they're, and then it's like much big. smaller. Like my, my guys, <laughs> my dude's making Matt Strom money right now. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> Matt Strom's picking up the tab at the, when they go to uh, Bell and Hand. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, anyway, that's a severe underpay for both yeah. those guys. And I'll tell you what, the Fenway Sports Group. I was going to say, yeah, who's the owner Penguins of the Pittsburgh Penguins? These days. So maybe they're uh, staking their claim in there a little bit because that is a low ball. Those are both low balls, which um, that sucks. So I don't know. <laughs> it's just they're like. use the extra money to pay Devers. Fuck the Penguins. John, yeah. John Henry's uh, actually just a double agent <laughs> for, uh, for uh, the Jacobs family and, and the Bruins. Yes. Please attend the 2023 Winter Classic at Fenway Park. I would love to go to that. I, I, uh, yeah, I'm that would going. be pretty sweet. You are going. going. Yeah. Are tickets on sale? No, but we we get like priority access, like the <laughs> season ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're better than us, Jake? <laughs> my father. My father. Shout out to Papa Long for getting the tickets there. I will say my fuck with, it's not something specifically with the team. Like that you see on the field or have seen on the field, what you will be seeing on the field. They got a ton of home cup and cooking coming up, fellas. A ton of home games yeah. coming up the next couple of weeks. This is your chance to lick your wounds and try to get back into the onto the saddle, into the driver's seat, whatever uh, whatever say, saying you want to use. Um, they're next to like I think Attilo tweeted it. It's like the next eighteen, it's thirteen games of six or something. Oh, it's that many. Yeah. It's something like that, or maybe not that many. Yeah, oh, I no, saw. Uh, yeah, many. I, I think I, I think I saw what you did, Jake. Where it was like Which thirteen was three, of sixteen, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, because what we play seven, the Mariners ten. after the Astros, play the so Reds have, at some point, including tonight. Their next out of their next sixteen games, thirteen of them are at home. That's what it is. Oh. Oh, so that's big, and yeah, you got Houston for three. Seattle is off to a slow start of their own, but you know they had playoff aspirations last year. Julio is 
a phenom. He's awesome to watch. Um, Probably come in and sweep us like the White Sox. Oh, I actually take there's a doubleheader uh, next Saturday, so that's out of 17 games. You know, yeah, they've got five against the Orioles that weekend. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, Baltimore, you struggled with early on in the year, but you you can jump Baltimore. You got Cincinnati coming in for two. You can rack up a couple wins here. I know we say the, the whole 14 and five Memorial Day thing. Like, I, it, it's nice to imagine, and maybe you don't get to that, but you can get close to it here with, with this home cooking. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, though, close doesn't count. As I did state last episode, I will kill myself live on air if they don't make it 14 or 5. <laughs> that, so. is, that is a binary choice right there. It yeah, will or will I not mean, happen. 13 or 6, I'm out. That's it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah memor- the Memorial Day show, I'm either Razor shirt thin or margins that we're talking. The ceiling. What's that, Liam? <laughs> I said the Memorial Day shirt is you're either going to see me eating a shirt or uh, or Jake's going to be painting the ceiling. Oh, no. Oh, just, no. No, no, no. I'll, if they <laughs> – the the game that puts them at six losses since I said – I'm just going to post a picture of, like, carved into wood Jake was here. That'll just be, <laughs> that'll just be from the next to, next to Brooks. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh razor thin margins we're, we're talking about here post the year mean mercedes it's over <laughs> screenshot <on Instagram. laughs> it's over um ah uh, so let's home cooking now back in the friendly confines although that's regularly field technically um you're back home string together some wins here huh Let's let, let's get back on let's get back on track here at at Fenway Park and especially three is fr- three is a winning streak, boys. That's it has happened before. It has happened before. <laughs> happened before. So, all right. Um, another thing I'm fucking with. Uh, it's not my official uh, fuck with. My second don't fuck with to even it out is again Ryan Brazier. That's how much I am upset with him. Um, mm. Geopolitical pol- uh, talk on Nesson. Uh, if oh you God. listen to the game on Monday, yeah, I, was, on this... I was delivering pizzas when this occurred. Can can one of you catch me up on it, please? Liam, do you do you want to take it or I, do you want? No, I mean you can you can take it. I I had it on in the background, but I so I wasn't like actively Out watching. Out of nowhere, it was, they come, it was very bizarre. <laughs> entering, I think it was the top of the second. Dave O'Brien introduces the former president of Poland, uh, their oh. first democratically elected president. Uh, I think he was president. Like from like 90, 1990 to like ninety two, ninety four. I think he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, yeah, um, they did mention they, they mentioned that. Um, so yeah, right. You know, when the Berlin Wall goes down, breakup of the Soviet Union. That's when he was president. Yeah, yada um, yada yada. Okay. In the Mr. middle of the game, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down the wall. <laughs> Reagan, sma- the McDonald's Reagan smash thing. Reagan him. smash. <laughs> Reagan smash. Um, he had a translator there with this fine but it's just like in in the middle of the broadcast you're having dave o'brien talk about like his history as poland's president Why? wait wait, wait. i'm just sorry yeah, I, so think, I, I think why the whole... was the polish president in the boot like well, I think, he, also threw, he also threw it, out a first pitch tonight yes oh, was he it, did is it polish pitch. is it poland night no, I like think he polish was there heritage? like he's like it raising funding for like ukrainian refugees in poland which that's that's good in Great and of cost. itself. Sure. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, but it's, it's Fenway park. I don't know what you're, what's the, <laughs> are, you, are you telling him to stick the sports Jake? <laughs> no, I'm just curious. <laughs> like, I feel like <laughs> now Jake's pulling the well, actually. Yeah. Actually, Jake Ingraham over here. <laughs> no, I'm just, I don't know what he's, I don't know. It's, 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 weird. Boston it's like a story. Weird it was story. so random. <laughs> it was bizarre. Like again, good cause at the end of the day, but it's like, we're what, just randomly the, uh... he's like and then, and then he talked Dave O'Brien was like, You you ran into a trooper um oh, and, wait, as you had a flat tire and he was Polish and uh, he, he said you were his biggest uh your his biggest inspiration or something like that. And then he goes he, he's speaking some Polish for a little bit and then the translator <laughs> It, it, it spits it back to Dave O'Brien. Dave O'Brien was having the time of his life. Yuke was just kind of eating that shit up. Yuke couldn't care less. Yeah, Yuke was just <laughs> sitting in the back, being like, "Okay, like, can we get back to talking?" Do you guys about... think? Do you guys think Dave O'Brien like, like, do you, like? I'm trying to say this without being like overtly mean, but do you think he has like good conversations with like his family, or do you think it's really like? <laughs> Could you like, imagine you think if he... your dad was Dave O'Brien? Yeah, like, do you think he just goes home and he's like, "Hey," and then he goes to bed? <laughs> I don't how like. Was, I don't. I, how, how was geometry class today, son? Yeah. <laughs> like, what does he? I just, I just he talks in that voice. <laughs> yeah. 
I just uh, he just doesn't seem like a guy. I don't know. I, I never. I don't get the vibe that he's a great conversationalist. Did you? I just did you give felicitations to your friends today at the lunch table? <laughs> well, actually, I'll tell you why I don't. I feel that way because whenever Eck like starts to go off on one of his you know his soliloquies or whatever that everybody loves, like nobody wants Eck to stop talking. Dave Dob will just he'll be like. Okay, now back to three, two count. Like, shut the fuck up, Dave. Nobody like, like Dave. <laughs> no one's here I think, for you. I think I like Dave O'Brien more than the average bear. I think he's good at calling the balls and strikes itself. I think he's better for the radio. But Dave does have that panic where if things start to get a little yeah. goofy, yeah, Dave's like he's, he's got a oh, weird alarm. alarm. He's slamming. Like, he's Bill he's Bear. waving the Nesson crew in. He's like, X gone off the rails. <laughs> <guys."> <laughs> Bill Burr We're talking in. salad. We're talking salad. <laughs> when Burr came into the to the booth and started doing his whole thing. Oh my god. It, O'Brien like for like two minutes was trying to like exit stage, like, like take the big cane and like pull him off. Like, okay, yeah, Bill, that that's... freaks out when it gets August fifteenth or whatever. It's gonna be gr- it's gonna be a great show, Bill. And then Bill just keeps going on, like, yeah, what the what the fuck am I talking about? And you know, it sucks because Monaco is was so good with Uke. Like they were just bullshitting with each other for yeah. I don't know. They got yeah, sucks they're, they're like eating donuts together. Yeah, that, great. I'll tell you what. Dave O'Brien has not had. When did he come in? Si- 2016. Uh, 16, right? I was going to say, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Okay, so the Sox have been. been the Sox have been good, or they've been, not counting 2020, they've been okay to excellent in his tenure, which he's lucky because the games they get sloshed, he's a nightmare to listen to. Like, he. That was the great thing with Orsillo and Remy is like, if the yeah. Sox get fucking waxed it's a great time you it's have like, a oh, jerry lost his tooth guys. today like okay, that's, that's what's going on it's like, like praying start... mantises in kansas city like, yeah like it's <laughs> so they, have, they wear the sombreros or whatever it, like they're having a blast dave the, the socks go down got some lip talk for like four innings, innings. <laughs> dave the lamp? starts talking about like the do on the grass or something like he's completely yeah there's nothing but Dave there. was completely in his element with this with this polish president he's like this is amazing he, and what killed me is at the end the polish president I, I i don't speak polish but basically the translator was like yeah i don't know how you guys watch this sport uh, yeah was i was, like, I was I gonna mention that because like, I, I i'm like Fuck you, dude! What the hell are you doing? Dude? Like, you throw out the first pitch at Fenway Goddamn Park, which is like yeah. a cathedral. Oh, that's a good baseball. way to raise money, bozo. Yeah, you're exactly, gonna get yeah. turn on you, people here. Exactly. Yeah, you, you throw out at, at, at this legendary baseball park. You're like, oh, it's great to be here. Oh, by the way, your sports fucking trash, dude. Like, get, get, <laughs> I liked um, get out of I, here. I did like Dave O'Brien's comeback. He's like, oh, it's you know only been the most popular sport for 120 years. <laughs> that's kind of a bar. That's kind of a bar. <laughs> Credit where it's due. He was That's a little sassy a bar. with the but delivery. The thing, the thing that killed me after that was he the, the segment with the Polish president ended like halfway through the inning, right? They went back into the baseball talk like it didn't happen. Like for 10 minutes, you <laughs> didn't have this former president of Poland on the, on the program. It, it just goes back to, yeah, and uh, the off-speed stuff, Duke, is working great today. <laughs> it's like... We're just going to ignore what just happened. <laughs> yeah, it was bizarre. I can't remember like a- anything remotely close to that happening on a broadcast. I like when the dining plate in, in memory. Oh in. I think God. that's my favorite. That's my oh, favorite. you like it. <laughs> I No, I actually get tremendous, tremendous joy out of when Nesson brings in people that, especially when like Eck is in there because he doesn't give people <clears throat> the time of day if he's not into it. Like they'll be like, yeah, this place down in, Waltham, they're they're making great whatever, and X X is just like, oh, okay, yeah, great, cool, and then he'll just turn his head back to the game, <laughs> like he doesn't, he's so uninterested in in anything that isn't baseball, which I respect. That sangria piece over there in Milton, I gotta have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta have it. <laughs> I will. I will never forget. It was it was twenty twenty. It was one of the few things I remember from that season. They came on um, mid broadcast. The Sox were in Baltimore. And Kevin Pillar, um, the great number five that uh, that we all know, he yeah. made he made an incredible like diving catch, but the dining playbook people were were like talking some nonsense when it happened. So like the the social team had to use the 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 Masson broadcast for the highlight because yeah. you were like, <laughs> and it's just completely spoiled and a, an incredible catch because they were talking about Could like just do EDI, you would think right, but nope. 
You got to You got you guys know the amount the amount of I could do I, I could do another hour on Nessun like broadcasting. And we might do it because I got some bars as well. But Dirty the, water the TV. amount of time I was gonna say oh. the amount of times in my life I've woken up in a cold sweat because I left the Red Sox game on and I just hear like Steven Tyler going and I love it. Dirty water TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I wake up, you know, it's like that Kevin Durant commercial where he like <laughs> he shoots his head up and it's 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 like Steven Tyler, I, Adam Sandler. Well, Adam Sandler's like, yeah, Dirty Wood. Yeah, yeah the, Adam Dirty Water TV. Yeah. What you the fuck the is Abbey Dirty Water TV? TV? I still I don't, I don't know what it is anymore. I watched it's on anymore. For Twenty years. I don't know what that is. Yeah, they just they just kind of go to like bars and clubs and like interview like people around like the the social life of Boston. That's what Dirty Water yeah, TV the is. Famous like. the famous social city of Boston. We're gonna bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> There, my, my point that I've always point that I've always gone to is that nothing will ever top Charlie Moore Outdoors in terms of being the show that is left on in a bar or a restaurant after a Bruins yeah. or Sox game because the staff forgot to change the channel. It is all time. There, there, I went to I think it was like Howl at the Moon one time with some friends and like pretty crowded there. Like they had the Sox game on the TV. <laughs> after it ended for like two and a half hours it was just like a charlie moore marathon so like i'm going up there to get like a going to get a beer and you can't hear the speech of it obviously you hear charlie moore just shooting the shit with like i don't know like patrice burrs ron whoever it is do having some fishing ha- having a grand old time charlie moore the, the older i've gotten the more i've just grown to respect it that that guy has an incredible grift going on right now shout out to charlie moore. oh yeah he, he's got the yeah. best job of the world he, american dream you know, it's another one. I, I don't know. Uh, um, World Tennis with Harry Chickma. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, who's who's tuning in to these things? I'm actually on the Wikipedia page of Nesson right now. Oh, he's going to have some, gonna have like some great f- ones. There, there's so we, shows. I mean, other than. Okay, well, just here's a couple. We, we haven't one. even mentioned I, Socks Appeal. Yeah, well, I was going to say Socks Appeal. Yeah. Shout out Socks Appeal. This is a crazy appeal. one. This I don't recall this one. This is called Pocket Money. Do you guys? Oh, yeah, I remember Pocket Money. Basically, what do okay. I feel like? A, I feel like you, I remember what's that. Your, uh, it, it was Fitzy, not not me, Fitzy. Uh, yeah, oh, it's no, I know but, who you're talking Fitzy, about. Fitzy, get ready for this. That's a character being played by Nick a man. Stevens is his real name. Nick Stevens. Yeah, yeah, yeah what? I know. <laughs> Why is he that's, playing a character? That's Fitzy <laughs> appropriation. I'll have Paul, you. I'll have you know. No, it says this is how Wikipedia says a half hour game show hosted by Paul. Fitzy Fitzgerald, and then in parentheses, played by Nick Stevens, that took place on the streets of Boston. I don't get it. Why they couldn't? It was a trivia. Qu- use his real name? Did he it was like use like a fake street? accent? Do you like? Hey, what yeah, are you doing? it's like that's like it's like he talks like he like Fitzy normally does. You know what I mean? It, it, the whole point of the show was that it was just a trivia show, um, Boston sports or whatever the questions were, and. Like, at least with, like, Cash Cab, you would win, like... It was similar to kind of like a Cash Cab. Think of it like that. But, like, you could win, like, 500 bucks on Cash Cab. Fitzy gave you, like, 25, maybe 50 bucks. For, for, <laughs> for, a, for a dollar, name a woman. <laughs> Literally, yeah. That'd be Going a fun street, game to play yeah. on the streets of Boston, especially. Um, that video... It's ha- ha- pocket money. Deep, Just a, it's a deep, walk around money. Deep, deep <laughs> cut here. Do you guys know that video... Of uh, it was like right in the first summer of COVID. It's that guy walking through. I think it's in Southie, and it's like POV. You're walking through the streets of yes, Boston. Yes. It's, oh, it's the fucking hilarious, closed. right? <laughs> the bars open. There's people in it, and then the guy goes, "Oh, your mother!" Like, <laughs> it's, 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 it, it literally is like an I think you should leave sketch or something. Like it's it's, it's crazy voice. that's just the guy, like these guys, yeah. It's, I it's, always it's, think that's Pete Blackburn, the guy that's like, obey your mother. <laughs> <laughs> always obey think it's, your mother. <laughs> they're in front so of the good. TAM, right? Right right by um yes, right by the yes, they're in front yes. of the TAM. They, um, they are in front of the TAM. Which sh- on, shout gonna... out TAM. Obey yeah, your mother. <laughs> Obey your mother. <laughs> the first guy, it's is yes, Marlboro has done a number on his vocal cords, man. It's like it's fucking hilarious, dude. It's, it's, fucking, it's hilarious. fucking hilarious, right? Obey your mother. <laughs> like the, the like the crouch he does, like it holds his face is messed up there. I'll never forget in the replies to like the original video, someone um they cut like the mighty boss stones. 
like over the over the guy, da, 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 like the, the Pete Blackburn guy. <laughs> it was so good. So I remember one of the replies of that. Um, someone from wherever tweeted like, "I can't believe people from Boston live like this every day." And then someone replied <laughs> and ratioed them, and it just said, "It's awesome." <laughs> <laughs> Best city great. on earth, baby. <laughs> Lee, what are you lights. moving? By the way, get a move on it. That's a, that's a great. That's a great question. Get a move like, on it. Yeah. Live gotta, pods. Gotta gotta be a movie. Gotta, gotta Liam, are packing. you making any trips to uh, the Fens this summer when we do our live show from the bleachers? Mm. I was thinking about like Memorial Day weekend. Um, mm, I'll be in Disney I don't know. World. That's a bit. So. That's a very half baked idea. A mouse. Uh, so, so then, I mean, in that case, we can push it off. Well, you guys think we can July. bring these in to do a show from where we just are sitting? I thought you were going to say Disney World. I'm like, you got a better chance <laughs> of picking up a turd by the clean end, my friend. They will not let that through. <laughs> no, f- the fans. You think we could get a microphone? Um, probably. I don't know. It'd be That'd really be, funny. It'd be good and content. We, like we would get our three seats, and then it, we could just bring a sign, and be like, "If anybody wants to join us, just come chat." Yeah, <laughs> come on to the pod just randomly, right? Come on the pod. They have, to, they have to have had three alcoholic drinks by the time they come <laughs> yes. on. Yes, yes, yeah. and, and they, they, and they also have to get each of us one. They have to. You're you're free to come onto the show. Your fee is a, 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 a tall Miller light for me, um, <laughs> or you do a pre or post game. We could like we could have a bit where like. We're, we're having a live show at the bullpen bar. Come join us. And it's just like, we, we could just, literally just, just set up just a, a table. Like, you know, just, <laughs> just sit in a booth. I was going to say, we could just, we could put like a folding table on Lansdowne and just sit there it and could be, be like, well, like this, this is literally a podcast. Podcast. That's Lansdowne, right? the name of the podcast. That's what I'm saying. We could just sit there with our three mics or we'll have a fourth mic and be like, if anybody wants to join us, just uh, sit down and then we'll just riff. In the meantime, if the fourth mic is not being used by a person, we just kind of hold it up to the drummers with the paint cans. Like, yes. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> just for, to add ambiance. Um, no, yeah, we, we, we do it like going to like Lansdowne Pub. We should get the sausage, the, the sausage king. Uh, yes. He's not- Yes, yeah, so good. The, the the glizzy goblin, as they might as they might call <laughs> uh, the Yeah, the glizzy gladiator, the sausage king. Could it, it, we we say we have a live. A, is a sausage a glizzy fits? I, I don't know. That's a good philosophical. I don't question. think it is. As, as, as someone I don't think from it's officially a glizzy, as, as someone from the Mid Atlantic, I, I can I can tell you a, a glizzy is is strictly a hot dog. That's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Sorry, but no, we we we, we get a it's corner table, get a corner table like Tasty Burger or open. <laughs> it's like we have a live studio audience, and it's it, it's just Sophie. It's just it's just Alex. You know, what I mean? <laughs> it's just right. Yeah, it's, it's just one of Liam's buddies from college, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Oh, you think man. Alex? You think Alex would make the trip? Would just no. <laughs> oh, to, to, to the show, absolutely. Oh, great. Uh, okay, cool. So that's Missy, two. Missy Mopanya, right? Missy Mopanya. Sorry, right? should we bleep that out? No, we just, I refer to Missy Mopanya. Oh, I, let's the elephant in the room for everybody. I learned Fitz's government name today. Oh, heartbreaking. Yeah. yeah. That's tough. Yeah, the, the whole want... thing. Jay, Jay tried a long time to not know what my actual name was. And his but, name uh... is. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Pot on Lansdowne. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's, the it's secret like a, formula. <laughs> that one episode of Barry where he's like, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> my name is. Oh, Sophie <laughs> tweeted that yesterday. Yes, that that's was... why I remembered yeah. it. Oh, my name is. <laughs> Fitz, that's the good... closing. That's the closing song today, by the way. Yes, the it's theme. such a <laughs> such a good. Um... I have not started season three yet. It's I so good. Not. Both Sorry of you, Fitz, just said that to me before. It's so good. La- last night's episode was amazing. I I want to I want to binge one and two again because I haven't seen them in God. I, I think before, the guy who plays COVID. no. Yeah, it, it's I I probably need a, a quick refresher. I know how it ends, like with, with Fuchs and, and whatnot. Right. Um, the guy who plays NoHo Hank, I think, is amazing. a Boston guy. Really? Is he? Come I on the think... pod, NoHo Hank. Absolutely. In character. <laughs> and, yeah, and that's what about... his accent he does. I sent DHL Bullet to Ryan Brage. <laughs> yes, he is from Boston. <laughs> the D- the DHL Bullet. They, that's what it... That was like, all right, this show is the real fucking deal. Holy, that, that whole <laughs> bit made me laugh. Killed me. I express ship DHL Bullet. <laughs> DHL Bullet. Yeah, he's from Boston. Anything? Submarine, submarine sandwich. <laughs> we should get him on. We should get him on. Love him. 
I love No Ho Hank. And they call him No Ho Hank. No, he's, <laughs> he's fantastic. One of the best side characters in recent. Yeah. I'm not like a massive, massive TV guy, but like that's, he, he's so good. Um, well, that about yeah. does it, no? Shout out. Uh, do we want to talk a little Celtics before we, uh, we, we call it a night? Oh, they're the balls. They're the balls. Yeah. What, what, There's no what other reason why. Say? No other There's reason, no other reason why. why. That's the Celtics are the balls. Um, right, again, Ryan Brazier is a lucky man that the Celtics did well yesterday because then it would have uh, it would have been a close. miserable weekend. If yeah, we lose the Bruins on Saturday, the Celtics on Sunday, and Ryan Brazier is still on the Red Sox. That's, That's like a triple win. It gets from worse to worse, sir. As, as <laughs> Progressively. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it culminates in, in the in the Brazier news. Uh, what do we think for this series with the Celtics before we we call we we sign off here? I'm going to say Celtics. I got to. That's what I was going to say as well. Yeah, six. I, I I know that's like kind of the coward's pick. I feel like every every prediction is blank and six. It's, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck game. it. Fuck you. Fuck it. I'll say season five. Season five. Whoa. I'll say yep. se- I'll say season four. Season three. I'll say s- season two. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Um, it's like because like seven is like the ooh look it's so close like everyone wants to see seven. No one's going to predict a sweep earnestly, and then five is like. It's I predicted a, gentleman a gentleman sweep. Miami exactly. wins game one. I, I, love, I love a gentleman sweep. Nothing yeah, better. it's classy. Yeah, it is. It's the way to do it's it. Yeah, like, got us once, but you know, it, we like eh, we'll extrapolate turn it on the now. data. It's 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 still us <laughs> in a landslide. I got the numbers right here. Got the numbers right here. Um, yeah, that's that that's gonna do it. I think. Uh, any anything else you guys want to bring up? Any other side tangents that we want to talk about? Uh... You guys work out? You guys, you guys, gym guys? No. Shockingly, I, I I did go for a walk today. It felt very good. Oh wow! Like I used stupid, to work out. Stupid little walk. Like for... coming out of high school, and I'm kind of a fat piece of shit now. So I'm thinking. I, I yeah, I, I need to get back in shape. Well, you're 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 on the right track for your uh, post grad <laughs> life, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Liam, when yeah. when did you have your first uh, post college breakdown? Like how, how many months afterwards? Uh, I, I mean, like I probably, probably... Ha- I probably had it like April uh, of the year I was graduating. Well, that's why uh, I'm going to grad school. That's why I'm going to grad school. Be- so that you I, delay it. I, yeah, well, you delay the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, mental yeah. breakdown. Yeah, I, I had it like... I mean, I, I, mean you... I have it anyway, but I'm saying the, the re- I don't have to... I don't have to address it for another two years. You know? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right. I, I was pretty lucky. I think I got it only like... Like just under a year uh, after I graduated. <laughs> Men will literally go to grad st- school instead of going to therapy. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Ah oh, man, but, but, but next time we talk to you folks, Jake will be a a undergrad grad or, or yeah. Next time, uh, what did, what did the Sox? Were they three and two? If the Sox lose five games before next recording, I'll actually uh, that'll be my not last be on one. the show. We'll, yeah, that'll we'll, actually we'll have... be. Well, no, I will be on the show at the beginning. I will be alive and at the <laughs> that'll, beginning. That'll be for your we farewell. Need, we, need, we need we need proof of it. We need we need <laughs> yeah. proof of what yeah. might transpire. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there on out, uh, we kick. Jake off the stream. Um, oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you but, keep my corpse on the stream I, for, the, <laughs> for the duration of. Well, the then, well, then we had, we have open tryouts basically. Anyone like a, a weekend at Bernie's type deal for yeah, the it's like It's like <laughs> all right, you know what? Like, <laughs> who, who who wants to who wants to audition for the show? Anyone can. They get five minutes and they, and they can riff with us, and then we'll. Uh, I was gonna say us three could convene on it, but it would be, uh, it would be us two. <laughs> it would just be us, you two. Us, well, yeah. it'd Jake be would still be there two. in spirit. Yeah. I'd be, yeah, yeah. Body well, and spirit. For for us three, for Jake, for Liam, shout out to Sophie editing the video. I'm Fitz. We'll talk to you next time on Pod on Lansdowne. Hopefully, we'll have a full house again, uh, a, a full cast of characters to talk some baseball with you. But until then, go Sox, baby. Go Celtics, Celtics as five. well. Yeah, and so go Celtics. Yeah. But but mostly, Pod on Causeway. Pod on Warsaw. Pod on Warsaw. <laughs> Go, go polls. <laughs>